The P-51 Mustang gets the credit for winning Europe's air war. Every reel shows Mustangs escorting bombers to Berlin. Here's what's left out. The P-47 Thunderbolt flew 423,000 sorties to the Mustang's 213,000 and dropped 132,000 tons of bombs to the Mustang's 6,000. The escort myth. Mustangs reached Berlin in March 1944, but by then, the Luftwaffe was already failing. In January 1944, before Mustangs arrived in force, Germany lost 307 fighters and 284 pilots, driven by Thunderbolt relay escorts and a fuel famine. The hard math, fuel, not fighters, broke the Luftwaffe. By late 1943, German trainees had 20 hours, Americans 300. With no fuel to train and aces gone, replacements could barely land, let alone fight. A captured Luftwaffe colonel admitted the Mustangs were excellent but irrelevant. With only 20 minutes of fuel, Allied fighters could just wait for landings. The real workhorse was the B-24 Liberator, not the B-17 or any fighter, 18,400 built versus 12,700 B-17s. More bombs, longer range, lower cost. While Mustangs escorted B-17s on headline Berlin runs, B-24s were wrecking oil refineries at Ploesti. No oil, no fuel, no Luftwaffe. Operation Argument. Big week. February 1944. Seven days hitting aircraft plants. Thunderbolts and lightnings did the ground attack damage while Mustangs were still arriving. In one week, Thunderbolts destroyed more aircraft on the ground than Mustangs shot down in six months. Thunderbolts claimed 11,689 air victories and 9,000 on the ground. Mustangs, 5,144 in air and 3,000 on ground. Infrastructure decided it. Thunderbolts specialized in bridges, trains, and airfields. 86,000 rail cars, 9,000 locomotives, 68,000 trucks destroyed. Mustangs mostly escorted. While Mustangs cruised at 25,000 feet, Thunderbolts struck at 50. A 365th fighter group pilot said Mustang drivers kept the glory. We took fire from every farmer and starved the front. Each wrecked train meant 50 tanks without fuel and 500 soldiers without ammo. From January to June 1944, the Luftwaffe lost 2,200 in combat and 4,800 to accidents, failures, and fuel starvation. Logistics, not duels, ruled. On the Eastern Front, about 800 American fighters operated in the West, while some 5,000 Soviet fighters attacked from the East. The Soviets destroyed 13,000 Luftwaffe aircraft. Americans claimed 8,000. The Mustang figured in maybe 2,000. The air war was won in Russia while Hollywood filmed in England. Attrition seals it. Germany started with 4,000 trained pilots. By December 1943, pre-Mustang, only 800 remained. The 3T200 lost under Thunderbolt dominance. The Mustang inherited superiority. It didn't create it. Finally, the oil campaign. Thunderbolts and B-24s smashed synthetic fuel. Driving output from 180,000 tons in April 1944 to 10,000 in September. Mustangs escorted. Bombers and attack fighters did the killing. By the Berlin showpieces, fuel was gone. American industry sealed it. 47,000 combat aircraft in 1944. Germany, 25,000 in the entire war. Britain, 24,000 Spitfires and Hurricanes. The Soviets, 36,000 fighters. Logistics won. Transports moved fuel. Thunderbolts destroyed infrastructure. B-24s eliminated oil. Soviet fighters bled the Luftwaffe white. The Mustang was the last player in a game already won. One fighter didn't win the air war. Mathematics, production, training, and burning refineries did. The Mustang was photogenic and long-ranged, but victory belonged to blood, industry, and arithmetic.